Yeah! What is up? How you doing out there? B-Side Show. Pick your hands up off the keyboards, throw them in the sky one time. Hey, oh. trigger. <laughs> that's right, man. We got the homie in the building right now, man. Yeah. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. You gotta, you gotta oh, wait, it wait. On. It'll be. It'll hey, take two, take two. <laughs> It'll oh. sound better. It'll sound better this time. You know what? <laughs> it, it, it's, it's just been nonstop with me this whole fucking week. Uh, there's technical difficulties. There's something going on with the technical guys that's not been, you know, liking me lately. So, fuck the technical guys. And, um,. I go by the name of Capital I, one half of the Mexican crew. And um, what's going on, fellas? Chill it, man. Not much, Ch bro. Ch Ch chill it. Oh, well, Wacko, yeah. He's, yeah he's Wacko's a busy man. Yeah, this guy's all uh, over the touring. He's on tour. This guy needs a, needs a nap. <laughs> he needs to take a nap. <laughs> Wacko's on tour. B-side tour. I'll uh, sleep when I'm dead, bro. There uh, you go. That's right, man. Hey, hey, I'm at since you, you've been on, you know, it's been a little minute since you've been on last time, but... I mean, I seen you uh, rocking a couple big shows that you know we got to be a part of as well. But um, what you been up to, man, this whole time? So um, just finishing up uh, my solo album, um, polishing up the uh, the single that we're dropping. I've uh, been working on this new Mexican single that that we're gonna be dropping, Cinco de Mayo, and uh, basically brainstorming uh, some of the shit that uh, me and Block McCloud has been working on for the Gods of Chaos. So. I've really been busy all around, all across the board, so I'm just trying to stay active as, as much as I can. You, you guys uh, already, I mean, yeah, it's kind of like two groups, right, with the Gods of Chaos? Yeah, and, and then, uh, but, you know, it, it's, 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 it's busy. It's, it's good for me for, for my, my, my creativity because, gonna, uh, you know uh, what I mean? It's, 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 it's a whole different way of, of thinking and, and, and writing. Blocks so. like on a whole different yeah like you're saying he's, yeah. a whole, he's in left field and shit for that exactly so. yeah, exactly yeah. And, and, and sometimes I, I i need that when i'm writing with you know in a different form different different type fields you know what i mean so it, it's coming out sick hey hey can you um you know some of the people uh, there's some artists that watch the show too but you, you've been doing this thing a minute man you guys got hits um and you've been doing it a while, but can you can you talk about a, a little bit about that though the the creative process? Like sometimes you don't feel like maybe happy or party style. Like sometimes you might feel pissed off. You know what I mean? Like well, you know, and that's how you're talking about with the two different writing styles, right? Yeah. Well, to to, to me as an artist, I mean, I I go wherever the instrumental takes me, or however yeah. the instrumental makes me feel. You know what I mean? It it, it always it's, it's always on the instrumental to capture the emotion of what you're gonna write about that that's to me but when i'm in the room like writing with, with cats with you know like sick jacket or with sinful or you know when i'm sitting in a room with, with, with duke and, and block you know it's a it's a whole different level because it it brings you you know your game up because you just want to you just want to crush it you know what i mean so it's, it depends on different environments you're in. You hey, know? I think because on that kind of platform, it is. Uh, I mean, uh, it, it it becomes more. It stands out like kind of because when that when you got dope artists all in one room, like you all got to be dope on of that course. motherfucker. You yeah, know, bring, you got to bring your A game, <laughs> yeah, and that's yeah. the and that's the and that's the great thing about it. You know, it brings the best out in artists, and that's what I love about that. So yeah, it's 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 sick. You you guys always been lyrical. I mean. You, since we remember too we were talking off air though with jay brown but you know some of the, the first projects and stuff like that but you guys have always taken it to a, a, another level lyrically and uh, you know and then sinful holding it down with the even Sp even in spanish and shit you know what i'm saying but um I, w we talked about a little last time you were here but why why is that important to you man to keep it um uh, with the lyrics and shit in here because some people it's I, I don't know because that's just the way I, I was brought up. I, that's the way I was listening to music. That's the way I was, I was sponging up the hip hop. So what you're hearing is something that you know I, I like, or we like, or we grew up to. Or, you know what I mean? What we're really spitting is a, is a reflection of what we really, what we we really liked in in, in hip hop, and it all kind of fu funnels through through us and our different style and our different backgrounds, and you know it gives us our own our own flavor. You know. I mean, because it was so uh, relevant at that time that you guys were like normal cats on the wake-up show. Like, <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, and, and, and at that time, for people that don't know, man, you guys really gotta research that shit. You got Sway and Tech. You should um, know, yeah, Sway and Tech, the wake up show. DJ Revolution, yeah. But you, you guys, I mean, did your thing on there, man. Man, if it wasn't for the wake up show, I think, um, I think uh, lyrically we wouldn't be, um, wouldn't evolve. Uh, the way that we have evolved, you know what I mean? Because lyrically, that really was just every time we went to the Wake Up Show, it's always like you gotta be in the cipher and you gotta be on your A game, and you know it was just cats from across, you know, the country. It was the best of the best, and we was always like the secret weapons and Tech and Sway would, you know, yeah, let's get these cats here, throw throw us in there, and psh, bam, it would it'll be fun, you know. <laughs> that shit is hard. Did you ever tell Sway you don't know the answers? Yeah, sometimes I wanted to. Answer, sometimes Sway. I wanted to tell him that, but um, you know, I'm glad. Um, uh, what's his name said that to him? Uh, uh, Kanye. Kanye. Yeah. So yeah, I've been dying to tell him that because yeah, he, he obviously thinks he's got all the answers, but he, I know he doesn't. That's right. Hey, hey, man. Um, because we're gonna play some of the the, the new jams too that that you brought us. Um, can, can you go and introduce? Uh, we'll, we'll talk to the homies. This is my boy, Broken Arrow. Um, this is my hype man. This is my boy. Uh, he's got a studio, um, Sweatbox Studio. That's where we're laying our shit. Um, and just be looking out, because when you see us, you know it's just going to be a fucking, it's, it's going to be going off. You know what I mean? So I, I mean, I already seen the, the, you know, the some of the latest shows, man. You guys go out there and do your thing. Man. Oh, yeah. Fuck that, that, that shit. That energy. <laughs> fuck that shit. Hey, you guys, <laughs> you guys got to go, man. If you haven't seen Capital I Man Live, man, you guys got to go check that out. Hey, oh, yeah. Hey, let, let's play the one. I think we got the video, the wake up show video. We're going to play that one. And then we're going to play some of the new joints. And then we got uh, the other video loaded, too. OK, man. cool. Yeah, cool. we got that one, too. Hey, check this video out, man. Just throwback for your ass right here. This is some lyrical shit. Check it out with the I think this one's got exhibit on it. Check it out. Yep, there you go. Wake up show. Hey, bring down yellow a little 